Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so happy to see you guys again. Before we start this video, go ahead and smash that like button. But today we are going to be adding something else to the G35 to hopefully help us a lot more with this issue we're having and it'll help the car launch a lot, lot better. Also, if you haven't done so already, we're trying to reach 30,000 subscribers by the end of this year. It's a super, 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 super high goal, but I believe in us. All right, see you there. But without further ado, let's do today's shout out. It goes to Lawson Van. It says, when when you see two grown men laughing, you know it's a fun drive. Definitely, man, definitely. It was probably me and Genzilla's fastest car we've ever been in. 560 wheel horsepower F-Type R, an experience I will never forget. It was so, so, so fun, but. But anyways, thank you so much for the support, and if you guys wanna get a chance to get shouted out in the next video, all you gotta do is comment down below. Without further ado, let's continue today's video. So I'm gonna show you this clip, particularly right here, I posted on TikTok, check that video out. Let me turn on VDC. This is why I get pulled over. <laughs> you guys can clearly see that my wheels spin and spin and spin a lot. And you can see it in other videos as well. The zero to 60 I do, a lot of my digs, the wheels spin a lot, all the way to 40 miles per hour. Like I gas and it's spinning all the way through 40 and it doesn't have that much power to be spinning that much. So what I'm experiencing right now is a major problem of wheel hop. The official definition of wheel hop is the result of your car's wheel moving more freely than they should within the wheel wheels resulting in them failing to stay in perfect contact with the ground. This results in a jerky sometimes by the motion as you attempt to launch it. Like when you launch it, the wheel kind of goes up a little bit. When it goes up, it's not in contact with the ground, which will result in the burning out of the wheel. Now we want to make sure that tire is firm to the ground so it can really grip the ground and get the car going. Now I've experienced this issue when I just got the car, which is why if you guys saw in my other previous video, I installed new differential polyurethane uh, bushings for my differential. That should help uh, some with the wheel hopping issues. So I ordered those and installed them. I even went further and installed the subframe bushing collars because I heard that those also assist with that issue. And so I went ahead and installed those too. And the car did feel a lot more firm. It felt a lot better and I noticed uh, improvements. But the problem is still existing there. Which is why we went ahead and ordered a Bell's Work Racing. I believe that's what it's called. Differential brace. Which, by reading on the reviews, I've heard of that. It was only $109. It's not, it's not that expensive. And I heard that it helps a lot with the wheel hop issue that we're having here. Only issue right now is that we have not actually received the item. Look who just came, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's make the car part appear. You ready? Three, two, one. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Drift HQ. Just can't we order from Drift HQ. Shout out to them. Very fast delivery. Drift HQ goodie. Ooh, a lanyard. More lanyard. I need more of these. They rip super fast. But anyways, here it is. The Bell's Work Racing Differential Brace. Also, it comes with hardware, just saying. By the way, guys, check this out. 100 degree. Let me know how hot it is in your state. Please let me know or where you live in California. Let me know how hot, but it's 100 degree weather, and we're going to still do this for you guys.
the differential brace is now installed very very sturdy and the best part about this is that you can actually use this as a jacking point as well i don't know how reliable that is but that's what they claim on their website so hey guys what is up we're here at our destination we do our stunts on this huge mile long way and over there at the far end there it used to continue the street used to continue but now they've officially blocked it off so this is a dead end so now we got a damn airstrip on our hands so this is beautiful so we're gonna go ahead and do some pull for you guys but a couple notes for you guys i've driven the car on the way here and stuff like that and i already noticed a couple differences which i'm gonna tell you right now so right off the bat just driving the car right now i feel like there's a more directness like as soon as i step the pedal like it's gone so it feels almost like a supercharger the the throttle is just very very sensitive now and i've already done one small dig run and it did spin but it spin considerably a lot less than the video I showed you guys where it spins all the way up to 40 miles per hour all right here we go Woo! all right guys the tape is rolling let's go ahead and turn on VDC I'm gonna go ahead and rev it Alright guys, so at this point I'm going to have to get home and edit the video, but hopefully the camera caught a lot of good footage, at least those two launches that I did with the camera showing up, but on the GoPro you can see that it spins a lot, lot less. You guys saw in the video it was spinning all the way to 40 miles per hour. 40 guys and it's spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and never catches traction and now it skirts a little bit like just like any other car but then it hooks and it goes so this diff brace man mod 10 out of 10 bro for 109 dollars unless you have the high capacity uh differential cover then it's 128 20 dollars 30 bucks extra but so worth it man it saves the life of your bushings of your differential bushings if they're not already busted if they're busted go ahead and get some new diff bushings it'll do wonders trust me and then get that diff brace so now it launches it's freaking sick now now i could do digs on stoplights and stuff and not feel good before i was like man it's not even worth it doing digs because every time Time, I spin wheel to like 50 miles per hour so there's literally no point but now dude it seems like that problem has 90% gone away freaking awesome man that's so sick I'm super happy dude and then next here in the channel we're gonna we're waiting for a honeycomb hood it's ready already but I think they're just taking a little longer to ship it I'm not sure it's got to ship with other products so I'm not sure when exactly they're gonna ship it and then we got to still fix our, our state ref ticket that's gonna come July 25th we got our first virtual appointment waste of time and hopefully Hopefully they can schedule us really, really soon for the in-person one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go back home and uh, let's congratulate ourselves, man. 100%. I'm going to leave the link down below. I didn't actually buy the diff brace from Z1 because Z1, I believe, only sells the high-capacity cover diff brace. 
I went ahead and bought this from DriftHQ.com. Go ahead, check them out. Super awesome, and they ship it really fast too. You could get priority shipping, and it's almost the same price as the Z1 standard shipping. And Z1 takes around five to seven days, I believe. This one takes like one to three days. So super fast shipping. It's about the same price for shipping, and it's only $109 if you don't have the high capacity diff cover. So uh, awesome purchase. I'm really, really happy with the product, and uh, let's go ahead and go home.